of the way you played today? Uh, thought I played well. Um, thought I played well. I uh, distributed football, um, extended plays. Um, got to got to do better in the red zone. Got to score points in the red zone. Number one. Uh, that's that's the biggest thing. You know, I'm the quarterback. It's my operation to get the ball in the end zone, in the red zone. So we got to put points on the board in the red zone. That first touchdown. What happened after? It looked like Maddie clocked you a little bit. Yeah, I don't even really remember what happened. Um, it was trending in New York. Really? Yeah, yeah. on Twitter. Looked like he punched yeah, you in the face. Looked like he punched you. It was up there. <laughs> well, well, I don't even remember. I'll just say it later. That hard of a hit, or huh? Was it that hard of a hit? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't really know. I got a little adrenaline still running. So, uh, yeah. All right. Do you feel like you proved something to a lot of people today with your play? Yeah, that I'm developing. Um, it's credit to the coaches. Uh, they stuck with me. Uh, Coach was scared. Coach McNulty. Um, they 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 coached me hard, and uh, I can't thank them enough. Coach Ash, Coach Ash stuck with me when stuff wasn't going good, and kept saying, "Yo, man, just keep working, keep working." That means a lot to me as a quarterback and as a player. You looked like you were struggling a little bit, and then you hit that little swing pass to Raheem, and that's yeah. It's got momentum. You know, it's it's a momentum game. It's got in a, in a in a groove. You know, once you get in a groove, stuff starts happening. Yeah, so I just got into a groove and said, "You know, I can do this." You know. Which Mark, think, what was it like to have you sit out and wait your turn like that? How, how did you kind of deal with that? You know, you know, obviously as a competitor, you don't want to do that. But I learned so much from McLean. Uh, you know, McLean is, has that Brett Favre mentality. He moves so well with his feet in the pocket. I mean, that's that's something that I struggle with, and I got to learn from McLean, and I'm continuing to learn to, from McLean. You know, just how to move him within out the pocket. You know, move your feet and extend plays, and just have fun out there and just let it go rip. I mean, that's this is a game. You know, ultimately, just go out there and have fun. So yeah. And you were able to complete some downfield passes. What was clicking there? Uh, just going through my reads, going through my progressions, trusting, trusting the concepts that Coach McNulty built up, and just trusting my receivers. Do you think you earned the opportunity to start next week? That's not my decision. You know what I mean? Um, whatever Coach tells me to do, I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna go full force with it. On the backup, on the backup, I'm gonna all support the McQueen, all support my brothers. I'm a starter. I'm a starter. You know, it doesn't change my preparation, but whatever Coach Ash does, I'm fully invested, in Coach Ash, in this program. Is that type game plan something you think fits you well? Move quickly, you know, kind of distribute the ball, like you said. I mean, I think it fits all quarterbacks. Yeah, yeah you can get the ball fast to your playmakers like Raheem, Isaiah, and all the receivers that we got. Um, yeah, I mean, that's what you do. That's what college football mm -hmm. is nowadays. You watch on Saturdays, on Sundays, guys getting the ball out quick and getting to players in space. Yeah. Looked like your one. line kept you upright today too. Yeah, those guys did a great job protecting, man. They did a great job. You know, it was full two weeks of preparation for BC, so we got to see all their looks, all their protections. So they did a great job protecting me and keeping me up straight, and all credit to them. All right, it's been a few games since you started. How did you feel differently? I mean, what did you feel differently uh, as a starter this time around? Been here, done that before, experience. You know, I started 11 games last year, not the way I wanted to go, but I learned a lot. Uh, just how to prepare, number one, you know, what I got to do on a day-to-day -day basis to get ready for the game. So that's the biggest thing, preparation. Played in, in loud stadiums, played in the stadiums, played game prep, so stuff like that. Touchdown, is that a hot read? Uh, I was just working on progression. Yeah. Last question. Thanks, sir. I appreciate Thanks, sir. you guys.